Hi, my name is Johanna Campbell. I am an English Language Fellow here at Mises University in Moscow, Russian Federation, for the academic 2018-2019 year. One of the many projects I get to be a part of is teaching advanced public speaking here at the university. And whether you're from Russia, from America, wherever you hail from, we have in common being nervous when we speak publicly. It doesn't matter how much of an amateur or how seasoned of a professional we are, we're nervous when we speak publicly because we're human. And this is a normal human response to standing up in front of a crowd on a stage giving a speech. Nervousness can take many forms, one of which I will call the physicality of nervousness. And that is the purpose of the speech right now, to analyze physicality of nervousness, figure out what it looks like for each of us individually, and fix it. When was the last time you gave a speech and had the entirety of yourself from top to bottom videoed while you gave your speech? Chances are it might have been a while or never. That's where I want to start with our time together right now. Choose a topic any topic. From one to two minutes, I want you to vi video record yourself and make sure that your video recording is a full body. Now, watch it. Really, watch it. No fast forwarding. Really analyze yourself. If you're like the rest of us mere mortals, you probably have a response that's similar to this when you see yourself on camera. That's completely normal. It makes you human. But I don't want you to focus on your content and judging your grammar and paying attention to all the words that you wanted to use but didn't. I want you to refocus on the point of our time together, and that's the physicality of language, the physicality of nervousness. Now to do that, I want you to watch your video again, but this time with the sound turned off. You're not focusing on what you can hear. You're focusing on what you can see. What is that? Are you involuntarily shrugging your shoulders when you're not actually asking a question to the audience? Are you swaying the top of your body? Are you shifting your weight from one foot to the other? Are you swaying your lower body like you're on a dance floor or like you want to be on a dance floor? Are you looking at the camera or your audience in really weird ways or not at all? You're looking at every part of the room except your audience. Are you touching your face? Are you scratching your hair? Are you using your body in any wasteful excess movements that don't help accentuate the purpose of your speech? If you are, that's what we want to analyze and fix. You might wonder why. What is the purpose of this and why does it matter? Well, when we're nervous, we're uncomfortable. And when we're nervous, our audience is uncomfortable. Think of the last date you went on, or better yet, think of the last first date you went on. What if your date behaved the way you just did in your first video? What if he was sitting at the table across from you in the restaurant and he was constantly moving his body? Or what if she was sitting in the coffee house with you and she constantly was scratching her head or touching her hair or touching her face? Chances are you would have had a response to that. You may not have been aware of your response, but you would have had one. Our audience sees every move we make, just like our date sees us in ways that we can't see ourselves. So does our audience, and that's important, and it matters. The way that we can see ourselves is to be aware of what we're doing. That's why analysis is so important. Now, I want you to do your speech again. Same topic, same one to two minutes, same video record. Now watch it. Did you see improvements that you made? Did you see parts of your speech where instead of swaying back and forth, you actually stood still? Did you see parts of your speech where instead of constantly having your elbows bent or your fingers looking like they're super glued together, you actually kept your arms down by your sides? This is the first step to self-awareness. This is what is important to practice. Also, I want you to think of what it was that you were mindful of during your second speech. 
By mindful, what I mean is, what was the constant recording going through your head? Remember, must do this. Remember, must not do that. Remember, also, do this. Whatever that recording is, if it got you the results that you needed, then keep up the good work. This is the first stage of paying attention to the physicality of our nervousness. Once we're aware of what we're doing, that's when we can do something about it, fix it, and then continue to improve our public speaking skills.